Welcome to the Tiger Channel. We have Ben McClung in the studio. We have Isaac Cole. We have Aubrey Hicks. But first, announcements. All right, here we have some Athletes of the Month for you for September, and these will be presented on October 14th. We have, for the guys, Zach Nallen. He's a senior and he plays football. For the girls, Bridget Cavoti. She's a senior and she plays softball. And for the girls, again, Brittany Marr, and she's a junior and she plays softball. And for October, and these will be presented on October 28th, we have, for the males, Ethan Gunther. Uh, he's a junior and he plays soccer. And for the girl, or the guys, excuse me, the, for the girls, we have uh, Mac and Conan. She's a senior. She has basketball and softball. Uh, Christian Dale's a senior, and she plays volleyball. Can you tell that I just picked this up right now? Well, you know, <laughs> and when I said girls, do girls. women hate it when I say girls? I mean, what's a teenager? Are they girls or women, or do they get mad about it? I don't. Just call them teens because that's like offended. unisex. No, that, that could be taken for offensive. Because I know some teens. feminists and they I, hate girls. When I hear teens, I think of like Disney Channel. Oh, I love teens. We're a couple of teens, guys. We're teens, guys. You know. I use that word all the time. Okay, back to the announcements. Right, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Students interested in participating in an after-school math competition should meet in room 209 on Friday, October 10th after school for about 30 minutes. The first competition will be Tuesday, October 14th after school in room 209 and will be finished at 3.15. So that's a bit of a math competition there for all you mathletes. Um, also, sign up for ACT's tutoring for the December test date and the guidance office or Mr. Richner's room 209 until October 23rd. I'm assuming that's the date where they cut it off. Also, anyone interested in girls' swim, please stop by room 128 to see Coach Van Cleve for season information. And that's it. Chill tonight. Oh, and sorry. Yeah, chill. She will meet this afternoon from 2.45 to 4 o'clock p.m. in the Library Media Center. And this program helps students develop skills in nonviolent conflict resolution. All are welcome to attend. All right. The next teen to talk is... <laughs> oh, gosh. Ew. Aubrey Hicks with the announcement. I'm sorry, calendar. We have... Today, we have a home... We have three home games, actually. Uh, no, just two. Ah, I'm confused. Softball. <laughs> we have a softball district tournament. If we win on Wednesday... We will play Pleasant Hill at 5 o'clock p.m. And then we have a ninth ninth grade junior varsity and varsity volleyball and Smith Cotton game versus Smith Cotton game at 5 o'clock. And we also have international tea at the LMC at 5 o'clock. And our away game is junior varsity, varsity boys soccer at Smith Cotton at 5 o'clock. All right, that's the end of the announcements. Uh, the International Tea is always a great time. I urge everybody to go. On Thursday, I'll be able to go to the chill meeting and then hang around and have uh, another tea? round of refreshments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The up. International Tea, I think. The free, right? Yeah, yeah no dinner that night, just a just lot of cookies. Just <laughs> tea and cookies? Sausages wow. and things. Sounds great. Hey, Aubrey and Isaac, you guys went to a real radio station. A real live did. one right now, yeah. How was that? Crowded. Just awful. <laughs> <laughs> really? It was great. No, it was awesome. No, it was it, it really was, was. it was really good looking, and I mean, th- the guy was so professional. Like he knew exactly what he was doing. It mm-hmm. was it's pretty cool. He's yeah. probably interviewed a thousand people probably, a year. Yeah, for probably more than that. He interviewed years. Mason and I last year oh. for the musical. He's yeah. a really laid back guy. He mm-hmm. is. He He's is. very chill. Ha. Huh? Marion Woods. He's a legend <laughs> around Lawrenceburg. <laughs> I do not know what noise you just made. There. She's just laughing. I, I made a pun. It's not. Right. And so their mics were the same as ours, or better, or what? <laughs> they, I mean, they they um they all look different. Actually, I think they got them at different times. Uh, but they all they uh, one of them. One of them was very old fashioned. One of them kind of looks like ours. One of them was kind of old fashioned. Like, but they were top like rate from stuff. the 1920s. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like it, yeah. it did. Big thing on it. It, it, it looks like it was the, the mic he pulls down in Rocky. It's like oh, yeah. the boxing yeah. ring. That is awesome. It was so cool. It's like an old ribbon mic, I bet, mm-hmm. or some mm-hmm. kind of... We had eight people go, and so it was very hard to, like, talk. <laughs> there were, like, four mics and eight people, so... No, so you had to take a number? three yeah. mics and eight people. Three mics and eight people. <laughs> and, and they were all actors, too, so they all... Yeah. They were all big hands like trying to <laughs> ham it up. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> I'm going to do a dramatic monologue I'm for a moment. <laughs> Drama people are a different crew, am I wrong, it's Ryan? No, we are. We're very I don't mean to cast any aspersions, but uh, you never know. Somebody's going to break into a Russian. Mr. Bircher over here casting the aspersions. <laughs> <laughs> Marion Webster in the studio, oh. ladies and gentlemen. All theater <laughs> people should know Russian. You it see what I mean? <laughs> it, is, it is very, yes. <laughs> yes. It's very necessary. See what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you just never know. 
people are because that's be how you make it acting. If you put an accent in it, it's you're instantly can, acting. You can do a Russian accent. You can do any accent. You can act. You oh, can you act. Know, yeah, in my acting class, my freshman year, I tried to do that for every role I was in. <laughs> I tried to develop an accent or some. Was it always Russian? Like I was talking by nasal voice, and I would try to <laughs> say like I'm stuck up for. How many parts you did you get? You're a pirate in Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I got zero parts. <laughs> <laughs> Are you be getting married in secret? <laughs> Then I figured out I'm just going to stand where I stand and say the line, and I totally was a better actor. There we go. I didn't do anything special. You know. All right, let's talk to Ben McClung. Ben, Ben how's it going today? It's good. Thanks for having me. You're the quarterback of the Warrensburg Tigers. How's your season going this year? You know, uh, we've got a lot of good things going for us, and hopefully over the next couple weeks we'll be able to rack up a few more Ws. That's good. Now you play uh, Nevada this weekend, and who's your last game against? Uh, We have O'Hara. Uh, for senior night, and then we'll go into the playoff. All right, and everybody's uh, guaranteed a playoff spot. Is that right? Yeah, in Missouri, that's the way they do high school football. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. So, uh, how's your season gone so far? You know, we've had a couple tough losses and a couple fun wins. You know, it's just uh, we've been right there on a couple games that we just haven't been able to pull out. And it seems like every game is a tight contest. It's a nail biter. It's gritty. It's down to the wire. So uh, Especially I mean, I these last couple ones, right? right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think you guys are playing great. It seems like a rebuilding year. Do you feel like that? You know, uh, we started from very little. You know, losing or losing. Uh, can you oh. pull that mic down? We'll have to cut Aubrey, that. Aubrey, can you pull that mic down so I can see his face a little? There you go. Yeah. There we go. All right, yeah. Yeah. Look at. <laughs> we're gonna we go. cut that part. Yeah. Is that okay, Ryan? Thanks. No, we're gonna All leave right. that part in. Right. All <laughs> right, we're back in. What was my last question? I don't. How's it going this year? A <laughs> couple uh, tough games. Yeah, we've had a couple tough losses. You know, uh, Smith Cotton game was rough. The Gosh. last two weeks have been really rough. Yeah. You know? Right. But you guys keep uh, your chin up and keep trying to get better and work harder. Yeah, we uh, we got a lot of fighters on our team. A lot of Coach Grindy likes to call them war daddies. You know, uh, guys <laughs> who go to work every day and just kind of keep winning games. Coach Grindy, something else, man. He comes oh, yeah. in here and. Does Fills Yoda up imperson- the studio. He's unbelievable. He does his theater impersonations of Yoda. He's really good. Yeah. I was impressed. He could be a radio personality. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could. But he keeps you guys uh, sharp and, and ready to play, yes? Yeah, Coach Green, you'll keep us in line, you know, uh, starting behind the line every day and finishing two yards through the line is one of our most important things, and it's just making sure we do things right. So how hard is it to throw a football in a game? Because when I play football, I just uh, – Press X on the controller. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, m- my guy can throw really far, but uh, you know, a lot of it is off-season repeti- repetition and just getting used to the motion of it. You know, I have five great O linemen: Jake Worthwine, Kevin Harden, Zian Lankford, Jake Gard, and Nathan Crary do a great job protecting me. And so, and so, what are your reads like? You go out for a pass, and it's a pass play. And what are you looking for on a, any particular play? You know, a lot of it is pretty simple. Coach Scarborough does a really job of simplifying it for me. And, you know, sometimes it's just reading one guy and picking off of him or reading, uh, like, fullback to tight end or X receiver, just simple stuff like that. It's really, really helpful. But then there's a rush and there's a lot of other things. There's conditions, like in the Sedalia game, it rained the whole game. Mm. You have to figure Mm -hmm. all that stuff out. Oddly, uh, the Sedalia game was my only game I've had on varsity where I was 100% completion percentage. Wow. <laughs> Oddly, yeah. And so, uh, you know, it's just how it works every day. Wow. Yeah, that game was something else, man. So he plays best in the rain. You went there, too. I went there. I was soaked. I wore my good <laughs> pants. People were jumping off the back, putting mud all over me. It was awful. Yeah, just just sitting know. in the stands was hard. I didn't know how you <laughs> were out there playing a no, game. No, I was in the mud. Messed up my white cleats pretty good, too. I, I, was, I was disappointed about that. It was Aww. really – it was a game and a half, I tell you what. Uh, what else do we need to ask about the football team? Uh, you guys are looking to win at Nevada. What's Nevada like? Have you ever played down there? Uh, I haven't played down there. You know, we uh, in my eighth grade year, some of these guys went down there and played there for their playoff game. Did you not play in eighth grade? I played in eighth grade, but uh, the uh, varsity went down there when I, I was see. in eighth grade, and they played me. Okay, so you guys, uh, this must be weird just to go around to the different stadiums and learn those because you haven't played at them. Yeah, you know, it's a different experience. You know, it's uh, luckily they're all a hundred yards and however many yards wide, but. 
like St. Pius, for example, that's a weird place to play. It had a weird field. The lights were weird. It did have a weird field. You know, it's not as well lit as some of the other places. Ooh. And right off the right off the edge, there is a major highway. And yeah, wow. it's crazy. It's close to the airport, so they wow. might buzz you with a. I mean, you should have seen it. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> they had a huge, uh, like a Polish sausage. Uh, <laughs> What? Well, no, they uh, they they barbecue pull a sausage right off the side, so that wafted it through the air. It was There's really just a guy like in the middle of the field with <laughs> pull <laughs> <a> sausage. <laughs> well, they drove a cart through the 50 yard right, line. Right. It, was, uh, it, was, it was a weird atmosphere. They had they called timeout for that. Yeah. <laughs> timeout for the sausage guy. But no, that place. Oh, and the the track was right next to the field. So field track, and the track is where yeah. the people are. The football players stood, and also that's where the people went to the stands in. So they'd have to yeah. walk through the crowd to. Boy, what a what a strange wow. place! It's like the uh, concrete tracks. For some reason, O'Hara has the same thing. And last year, I scored my first varsity rushing touchdown. Ran off and slipped on the track. <laughs> and fell on my butt. <laughs> so that was, uh, you could have hurt yourself yeah, badly. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, all right, so we don't know what Nevada's going to be, Nevada's going to be like. And I don't know. Oh, by the way, my kid was like, why do they call it Nevada, Dad? I'm like, maybe they're just weird like that. <laughs> they don't want to be confused with Nevada. Right, right. They Nevada? get angry when you call it Nevada. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because we, we go against them in show choir, and anytime somebody in our choir or some of the new new people who've never heard of that, they're like, we're in, ne- what is it? Ne- I don't know, Nevada. 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 Yeah. And like, no, we're in Nevada. No, no, you're in Nevada. Well, I you're in Nevada. <laughs> I never get mad at anybody who says Warrensburg. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, People say that. Whatever, dude. Warrensburg. <laughs> you go right ahead. <laughs> you think whatever you want. Warrensburg. <laughs> <Wara-rinsburg. laughs> <I just laughs> <think. laughs> All right, anything else we need to talk about today? We want to thank Ben McClung for being in the studio. Definitely. Thanks for thank uh, listening. You. And uh, remember, you can find us on tigerchannel.org. Have a good Thursday. See ya. See ya.